to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Nixon Show Don't Tell, or as they call it, the manual, or manual, and wall, I don't know. Anyway, um, I decided to do this watch today because Nixon is a watch brand that uh, doesn't get reviewed as much, and that's okay. Uh, it's more of a fashion style watch, I understand that. And when I started this channel, I decided to do reviews first on my watches from my collection before I do a full state of the collection. Um, so that's where we're gonna go with this. Now, a little bit about the history of Nixon and then we'll get to the watch. Nixon is an American watch and accessory company that was founded back in 1997. Um, it's from California and it's funny because their focus is on the youth lifestyle market. So they are really heavy on surfing, skating, um, snow shops, and youth, all of which doesn't really classify uh, me, but um, there's something about this watch in particular um, that even though I'm not part of that demographic audience that the brand goes for, this watch actually helped to reintroduce me to a love of retro and vintage watches, and I'll explain why during uh, the video. So uh, just really wanted to, to touch on that now. The basics on the watch, of course, it's stainless steel. Let me take it off the pillow here. It's a stainless steel watch. It is a square watch. Um, it's a 38 millimeter from uh, diameter. It's got a 22, it says, uh, but I think it's more of a 20 millimeter bracelet, stainless steel as well. It's got a Miyota movement, it's quartz. That's as much as I got, I don't have a number for you. So apologize for that. It does have a double locking clasp here. Uh, pretty standard on a lot of watches. And I'm sorry that it's a little dirty. I uh, didn't have a chance to clean it beforehand. And as you can tell, it's got that really vibrant white face. Uh, I don't think that's sapphire. I think it's a, it's a hard mineral crystal of some type. But And um, the watch really retailed for anywhere between $100 to $200. Of course, MSRP is, you know, usually it varies what they say you can get it for. I got this watch for a steal. I got this watch for um, 40 bucks. It was uh, secondhand, but I saw it. I tried it on and I loved it. And I said, yep, I, that's the watch I want to wear. Now I'm going to bring it in a little bit here just to get some really nice use. As you can tell, it does have uh, inside, it's got the minute tracker around and it's in five minute increments there's not a lot of loom on the watch i'm not going to pop a loom shot just because it'll just be those two little sticks and it's not very good it does have a sign crown on the back i mean i mean on the side and on the back and i don't know how well this will pick up but it does say nixon show don't tell the manual stainless steel japanese movement blah 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 now the thing about this watch that I really like, and I'll tell you a little bit about why I picked it up and how I picked it up. Um, I picked it up at a local pawn shop uh, here in Central Florida, and I know that there's a lot of watch knobs out there that probably don't go to pawn stores, but I figured out a long time ago that there are some really good watches that people will pawn or sell to a pawn store uh, just to make some money. This one happened to be one of them, and it was 40 bucks, and I said, I will take it. Um, also, you know, with Facebook now, the marketplace, that's really where people start selling stuff and they start asking for really high prices, negotiating a pain. So I just, I saw this watch, it was 40 bucks. I said, I'm gonna take it and give it a shot. Now put it on my wrist in just a minute. And of course, as is customary, the customary uh, wrist shot is the Invicta Pro Diver. And I don't remember the model number, but it's the all gold with the champagne dial on the scallop blue bezel. And I really like that one. So anyhow, let's try on Let's fix it and see how it fits on my wrist. All right, so there it is on my wrist. I have an eight inch wrist, believe it or not, it's pretty big, um, but it fits really, really well. It sits very nicely. It does not get your hair snagged, um, which is always nice. Um, and again, when I saw this watch and I just saw the, the shape, I said, I really like that. And, and something inside of me uh, just, popped open and said, I, I want to start getting more and more square or rectangle or pillow shape 
uh, watches and that's my quest for 2019 is to pick up some of those in addition to all the standards you know that everybody seems to say everybody should have I'm not sure if I'll get all of those but I know that this watch in particular really helped um, now um, just so you know a little bit about me, I, I usually wear divers. That's my favorite style of watch. It's a dive style watch, uh, followed closely behind by a date just style watch. It's very classic, very simple. Um, so this was a stretch, uh, but very quickly it just became one of my favorites because it's simplistic, the style, the size, and I like also that it's not a shiny uh, stainless. It's, it's just like matte finish, so I really like it. It almost looks uh, like it was uh, beaded, blasted on it, but it really is... Very nice. Um, so it helped me expand my my desire. Now, this is obviously a fashion brand, Nixon. Uh, this is, however, I think better than a lot of fashion brands out there uh, because Nixon takes her time and actually uses pretty good movement and they don't go all wild with their designs. Um, now, what is this watch good for? Is it a daily wear? Yes. Can it be a beater? Absolutely, it can be your beater, it can be a tool watch. Uh, is it a weekend in shorts and t-shirt or even jeans, throw on some boots? Yes. Are you gonna go swimming in the ocean in Florida on a summer day? Absolutely not. That is not what this watch is for. Uh, believe it or not, I would recommend this before I recommend this. Even though it does say that it's a, um, water resistant i just wouldn't go in the ocean with it but i tell you it did change my mind about nixon brands and i have uh, seen a lot of nixons that i actually like i wouldn't pay retail for them um, so for me they're they're way better than the movement watches than your daniel wellington watches um, and others like that but you gotta look for them at a good price so you know it's a, it's a nice alternative to the simplistic fashion watch um so that's just something that I, I like to think. I'm not telling you that those other brands are bad because if you like them, uh, my philosophy is and will always be that if you like a watch and you enjoy it and it brings you happiness, then that's the watch you should wear. It doesn't matter if it costs 20 bucks or if it costs $10,000. If that's the watch that you like, then just go for it. That's, you wear it. But for me, this is a nice alternative, so. That's the Nixon manual. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing more content to the channel um, very soon. I'm, I'm going through my watches and doing videos on them and, I, and I'd love to share them with you. And also I'll be doing a uh, state of the collection sometime before the first quarter ends and then I'll see how it looks at the end of the year. So.